Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to the third episode of Saturday Sessions. Yes, I have recorded this immediately after the last one. This episode is all going to be about my love for video games. How it's affected my love for cinematography and storytelling. A lot of people would look at video games, especially you know your, your parents or your grandparents or whatever, and think that it's a complete waste of time. There's a way for the kids to entertain themselves when the, the adults are watching TV or something like that. I, I completely get it. I'm fortunate that, that my mother was very supportive with my, my love and obsession with video games from a very young age. I remember when I was young, she bought me like a PS2, a GameCube, she bought me uh, Game Boy Advances, SPs. I, I was the luckiest fucking kid in the world, man. So let's start from the very beginning, the first video game I ever remember myself playing. Pokemon Final Rift. And yeah, it was, it was fun, it was entertaining, but it taught me a lot about that it was possible to create an entire story, an entire world, and, and hundreds and hundreds of characters and put them all into this tiny little cartridge that you plugged in to your, your Game Boy SP and you could just experience this whole other world. And it was just the most mind-blowing experience for a kid. So I went through the, the Game Boy phase, I went for the SP, the PS1, and then one of the biggest things happened to me. And now, the phenomenon continues with Final Fantasy X. A young adventurer named Titus, beginning an epic journey. And Yuna, training in the ancient art of summoning. Join them as they struggle to save their world from a vast evil known only as sin. Final Fantasy X and Kingdom Hearts. Both of these games are tied for my top number one spot in all of video game history. And then bear in mind these games came out nearly 20 years ago, I think. Final Fantasy X had such a, a beautiful, such a beautiful resonating soundtrack alongside a, a majestic emotional story with characters who had more character development than any you would find in a, in a standard movie or TV show. Kingdom Hearts really developed the story and the easter eggs and, and the fact that there could be so much more than just a, a video game for entertainment. It showed you that there could be literally an entire world based on this one little disc. But it was at that point in my life, at a very, very young age, I realized that video games were so much more than what everybody else thought they were. The way that you would watch a film, a TV show, you would learn about a character in the same way that your parents and your grandparents used to love reading about all these stories about the about Greek mythology and the monsters and the way that Hercules slayed a minotaur and took down Hades and all this stuff that was there was such great storytelling. And they all kind of imagined these characters and what they looked like and what the underworld looked like and for them it was a very real experience up here, but for us we get to witness that. We get to immerse ourselves in this world, this universe that other people wouldn't really be able to. So that's why video games have had such a massive impact on me because it's more than just a game. Every single video game that I've ever played has had a story, has had characters, has had emotions, events, it's had storylines, it's had easter eggs, it's had, it's had the most beautiful soundtracks and the most gorgeous scenery, all handcrafted by these artists. But the people that spend their lives creating a universe for other people to live and experience things in. I think these people are some of the most remarkable human beings on the planet. I could try explaining this to my grandparents and they wouldn't get it, but like the way that a writer would craft this incredible universe on, on a piece of blank page, or the way that a painter would display this beautiful masterpiece on nothing but a blank canvas, it's the same kind of thing, just it's not appreciated in the same sort of way because it's it's a different medium. 
way that your dad might sit down and watch all the football games that get played. And like, that's the same thing with us in esports, right? People who play video games professionally, it's the same kind of thing. It's just a completely different world. So that's my experience with video games and my love for them. Maybe I'll do like a top 10 list of all my favorite games. I don't want to get to the top 10 shit because that's just like, hey, look at me. I'm a YouTube channel. Watch my shit, please. I promise it's better than everybody else is doing the exact same thing. <laughs> but nonetheless, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this kind of enlightened you if you've ever been confused about video games or perhaps you relate to it. Perhaps you love video games and you understand that it's so much more than just a form of entertainment now. It's, it's storytelling. I love your faces. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I will see you tomorrow. Adios.